So you've shot some footage on your smartphone, but now you need to edit. Ah! Don't know where to start? Not to worry. In this video, I'll be going over video editing basics using a free iPhone app, so you can start creating videos on your smartphone today. So if you're completely new to video editing, this is for you. It does continue off of one of our previous videos that goes over the top 10 tips on recording video using your smartphone. So I am going to be going over video editing basics using a free iPhone app called Splice. So let's get started. First, creating a project and importing clips. For this example, I'm actually gonna show you how I edited the introduction for this video, which I shot on my iPhone. First, you'll want to create a new project by tapping the plus sign on the top right corner. The first time you use the app, it will ask you for permission to access the photos and videos on your phone. Hit OK, and once you do that, you'll be able to access your camera roll straight from the app. Tap the clips that you'd like to use in the video. I add four clips total, but I'll select three for now. Then tap Add in the top right corner. Here it will ask you if you want to add audio, which I don't, so I'll tap Skip for now. You can always add music later. The project settings screen will pop up next. All you need to worry about for now is giving your project a name. I'll name mine Edit Intro. Then tap Done. This is the main editing interface. The bottom half of the screen is referred to as the timeline. The timeline is basically your canvas where you'll add and edit clips to make your final video. The top half is your preview screen. Here at the bottom is a playback bar of your timeline so you can control what part of your video you preview. Remember how I had four clips? Tap on one of the clips and a few options will come up. Tapping these plus signs will allow you to add to your timeline. I'll select my fourth clip from my camera roll and then tap add. Now I have all four clips. Next, trimming your clips. So in this clip, I make a few blunders, which I'd like to edit out. So you've shot some footage. <laughs> Shoot, okay. To do that, Tap the clip to bring up the submenu and then tap edit. Here I can trim off any footage I don't want to use. As you can see, this is a 31 second clip. I'm going to slide the playback until I find where I want my footage to start. So you've shot some footage on your smartphone. Now you need to edit. It looks like I get it together around second 21 to second 24. So here at the bottom, I can slide these blue bars to start and end the clip at those specific times. As you hold one of the bars, the app will zoom in so that you can find the exact frame you want. See how my lips are moving as I start to talk? I'll want some lead-in time so that you could hear the beginning of my sentence. I'll set it right before I blink at 20.5 seconds. I'll also trim the end. Now, here's what the trim clip looks like. So you've shot some footage on your smartphone, but now you need to edit. If needed, you can adjust accordingly, but it looks good to me. So now I'll tap Apply Trim. Confirm the trim, and then tap the top left arrow to go back to your main timeline. You'll see that the old clip was replaced with a trimmed clip. So you've shot some footage on your smartphone, but now you need to edit. Next, arranging your clips. As you can see, these clips are out of order. I want where I'm outside to be at the very end of the introduction. To rearrange a clip, tap and hold it until the timeline zooms out. From here, you'll be able to drag your clip to the correct position. I'll rearrange the other clips as well. Now they're in the right order. Titles and transitions. To add a title, tap on the first clip and then tap the plus sign to the left of the clip. Select title. Here, you can add text, change the font and colors, and set the duration. I actually don't want a title for this video, so I'm going to delete it. For transitions, Splice automatically adds in a cross-dissolve transition in between your clips, which looks weird for this video. To edit a transition, tap on the icon in between clips. They have a few options, but I'm just gonna select none. I'll also remove the other transitions. Here's what it looks like now. So you've shot some footage on your smartphone, and now you need to edit. Don't know where to start? Not to worry. 
Lastly, GoPro automatically adds a watermark at the end of your project. Unless you want it there, make sure to disable it so it doesn't show up in your video. Finally, exporting and sharing your video. I finished editing my video and now I want to export the file to my phone. To do that, tap the share icon in the top right. Here you can share your clip directly to YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. If you just want to save the video to your phone, tap save. Here you can select the quality of the video you'd like to download. I want the highest quality, so I'll select HD 1080p. The export process will depend on the size of your video. Once it's finished, I can check my camera roll to see the final file. So you've shot some footage on your smartphone? Other effects. Play around with the app. It's pretty robust for being a free app. You can check out filters, play with speed like slow motion or time lapses, add music and other effects. So those are the basics of video editing. Obviously we can go much more in depth with each topic and there's a million different things that we could talk about, but with everything that you just learned, you should be able to create something on your smartphone as soon as you're done watching this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. This is Heather with ShareSpark Media. ShareSpark, share your story, spark your potential. Want to start making videos, but all you have is your smartphone? Whether you want to make videos for your personal channel or for your business, these are my top 10 tips for making better videos using your smartphone.